Hey guys, this is Mel, and today is May 16th, 2019, and this video is going to cover the CW upfronts. This is pretty much when the CW announces what the tel their television schedule is going to be like in the upcoming television season. This one coming 2019 to 2020. I don't know why I say it too differently, but anyways, um, so a majority of my information is going to come from the press release that I found on uh, Futon Critic. I'll put a link for it down below if you want to see the full details as it includes all of the pretty much synopses for each of the shows, a little if it's a, a a uh, new arrival a little more breakdown of who's in it if it's uh if it's a renewed season then it'll, it might give a little teaser of what's to come in the next season um so if you want to look at that i'll check out the link below um but otherwise this video is going to not only focus on what the schedule is going to be like but i'm going to put in my bit of two cents um but let's start right off the bat uh listed on screen you'll see not only the returning series but as well as the three that we're not going to be seeing and that is because it was already announced that they would be in their final seasons this year so we're getting two three near three new series sorry to replace them and in the first time ever all their aside from those three that were announced all the shows on the schedule during the 2018-2019 season had been renewed so that was pretty cool up there um so let's get right into it now so again we're going to be covering um from sunday to friday um they just started that doing that in uh, uh this current uh television season so with it next year it's going to be instead batwoman the new series at 8 p.m with supergirl happening at 9 p.m supergirl it's a new time but still the same date and it's going to jump right into season five but with batwoman this is a new season a sneak peek clip is actually already released as well as the trailer i'll link the two down below um, we're going to see Pretty much, we had a little preview of Kate Kane, played by Ruby Rose, as Batwoman in the Arrowverse Elseworlds crossover that happened. Um, so we're going to get more of the backstory of how she became Batwoman, or at least that's what the trailer is alluding to. Uh, we also see um, a Rachel Scarsgan, I believe, playing psychotic Alice. I'm guessing she's the leader of the Alice in Wonderland gang. I recognize her as Tamsin from the TV show Lost Girl, which I completely miss. Um, so it'd be great to see her in that role. Only question I do have with this series is the fact that how long had Kate Kane been Batwoman when we were introduced to her in Elseworlds? Because the trailer makes it seem like this is the start of her journey. So there is that. So let's move on to Monday. So Mondays, we're going to get All-American at 8 p.m. And we're going to get Black Lightning at 9 p.m. All-American is on a new night and new time with the season two. Black Lightning is coming back with Season 3. Uh, now let's with Tuesdays. We're going to see The Flash at 8 p.m. Like it's normal spot since the very beginning. And we're going to see Arrow moving into the 9 o'clock spot. So Flash comes in with Season 6. And Arrow is coming not only with the new night, but the fact that it's the 8th and final season with only 10 episodes. Now in the press release, they did give a little bit of a teaser as to what this final season could come, and it reads, and I quote, In the wake of discovering what his future holds, Oliver will find himself pitted against his most challenging battle yet, one that will leave the multiverse hanging in the balance. In Arrow's final season, Oliver Queen is forced to confront the reality of what it means to be a hero. I'm a little nervous by that, but can't wait to see where that unfolds. So let's move on to Wednesday. Wednesday, we're going to see Riverdale staying in at 8 p.m., and then we're going to get new TV show, um, Nancy Drew, starting in at 9. Season 4 of Riverdale is where it's going to lead us into this new show. From the looks of the trailer, it looks like we're going to get the legendary Nancy Drew being a detective. Um, still in her teens that she's solving a, a murder in her hometown that could potentially have some supernatural connection to it. So there's definitely a haunting or a legend of a haunting in her hometown. And it's kind of the murder kind of resembles what it is. So now she's left trying to figure out, well, is it an actual um, supernaturally centered killing or is it just someone trying to make it look like it? So that's going to be an interesting twist there. I'm actually going to... I'll give the pilot a try for sure, just because in some ways it does remind me of Supernatural with the whole Supernatural murder type of thing. And so uh, it'll be interesting to see how it can continue forward from that, because I'm assuming that mystery would have to be solved within the first season. So anyways, let's move on to Thursdays, which will remain the same as it was this year with this year with Supernatural at um, 8 p.m. and Legacies coming back at 9 p.m. 
Supernatural is going to have its season 15 and its final season with 20 episodes um, next year. Uh, they did have a little bit of a blurb for it in the press release, and it is, and I quote, but in the final battle of the show's 14th season, they face off against God himself, they being the Winchester brothers, um, after refusing to kill their surrogate Nephilim son, Jack, and thus bringing about God's decision to end this reality once and for all. I'm still a little freaked out about what that could all mean, um, so we'll just have to wait and see. At least I, I get 20 episodes as opposed to the 10 that Arrow's giving me. So there's that. Now with Legacies, though, we come back with Season 2 and a little bit more of what's to come after the shocking finale we got. And the press release said, and I quote, The new season will show us a world without Hope Michelson and all the chaos that goes along with it. All the while, Hope will be trying to find her way back to the school she has learned to call home and the friends she has learned to love like family. It will be filled with new monsters, more romantic and emotional surprises than ever. I really cannot wait to see that. So there is that. Now let's move on to Friday. So Friday, we're going to see Charmed in the 8 p.m. slot as well as Dynasty coming in at the 9 p.m. slot. So Charms on a new night and a new time coming for season two, while Dynasty is returning for season three. Now for the mid-season shows, though, that leaves us with um, the 100 with season seven. DC's Legends of Tomorrow with season five. Now I'm actually surprised by this. Um, so plus also here's the thing. I'm not going to reveal it, but the press release actually kind of a little flubbed because it's a little blurb did kind of give you spoilers about how season four is going to end. And this is before the season four finale has aired yet. It's meant to happen on Monday. So it's a few short, few days ahead. So if you want to have that spoiler, go check the press release link down below. I won't say it here though, but it's definitely, it definitely has me wondering whether or not this is what actually does happen in, foul, in the finale or if it's what's setting it up for season five. But I will talk about it in my um, reaction to the season four finale. So too back to that if you want to find out, though. But it's it, it's a lot. It definitely has more questions for me, though. So I just wanted to give you a heads up about that. Um, so there's that. Also, In the Dark um, comes back with Season 2 during mid-season. We also get Roswell, New Mexico coming back with Season 2 as well. And then we also get the new series Katie Kane. Or Katie Keene, I believe. Yeah, Katie Keene. Which is supposed to be the Riverdale spinoff. Um, and this is, focuses on um, characters uh, Katie Keene, um, Josie McCoy, uh, Jorge Lopez slash Ginger and uh, Pepper Smith, um, uh, all of them in their um, in their twenty somethings, um, trying to live out their dream together in New York City. It's always weird how they just name it twenty somethings, you know. Um, so that'll be interesting there. And then, um, so yeah. Um, so usually I'll go into my potential time slots for the mid seasons, but before we get into that, there was another article I wanted to talk about specifically, and that was um, the Arrowverse news in regards to the Crisis on Infinite Earth um, Earth's crossover event that's supposed to happen um, in the upcoming um, television season. This information is coming from TV Guide um, from TV Guide article. I'll put a link for that down below. Now, they revealed, which was also revealed at the Unfront, was the fact that this crossover event is going to be a five-hour-long event that spans over Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, as well as Batwoman. So five TV hours is going to be equal to, if they're 45 minutes each, it's going to equal to three hours and 45 uninterrupted minutes. So that is longer than Avengers Endgame, for sure, if you want to put... Uh, in comparison to that though so there's that but they also revealed the fact that it's not going to be all five hours at once you're going to get three parts airing in december of 2019 and then you get two parts airing in january of 2020 now and that is going to include uh, the legend since that is coming back mid-season so because of this it's definitely going to be a, some scheduling is it's going to be interesting because timeline-wise, how is it all going to fit? Are we going to have episodes swapping certain positions to have certain things happen? Um, because, like, as Legends, like, with the way they're going to split three and two parts, does that mean that the Legends premiere will be the one that's part of the Crisis uh, event? And what does that leave for Arrow? Does that mean the series finale is going to also fall into the crossover event? Because if... Because here's my prediction. If it's if the way that they split up the episodes is going to be similar to how they did it to Elseworlds, where, e where each um, dominant show, like, you can tell which part is has the dominating show. Like, you know that this is the Flash portion because it features the Flash. 
uh, cast more and then vice versa. So if that's the case, I think it might be the Batwoman, Supergirl, and Flash dominant episodes in December. And then they'll have the Legends of Tomorrow and the Arrow. They'll have the final part being the Arrow one in the January of 2020 a version. Otherwise, if they're going to do it like they did with Crisis of Earth X, where it they had a smooth blending of all four parts, so you didn't really... There was an equal um, representation throughout all portions of the show, so it didn't really matter. Well, this is Supergirl. It should be mostly Supergirl characters, or this is the Flash. It should be mostly Flash characters. So I'm hoping... I hope, fingers crossed, hoping, hoping that this Crisis of Infinite Earths, the setup is going to be like Crisis of Earth X, where it's just a continuous flow and whichever part you're watching, it doesn't matter that this is meant to be the Arrow episode, this isn't supposed to be the Flash episode or the Supergirl, it doesn't matter based off of how you're watching it, it's just a mod podge of all the characters together. I'm hoping, because like, having that happen and then having to go to Elseworlds and the, the setup they had there, it's like, oh, I can tell this is one shows um being the dominant one or versus another so vice versa so i'm hoping for a, a crisis x type of a setup so but i gave my two cents in in case it was the elseworlds um format so there's that so let's get into my time slot predictions because you know i like doing that stuff even though that most of the time i'm wrong but anyway so here are the potential possibilities that you can have for a mid-season time slots. Mondays, both time slots, 8 p.m. and 9 p.m., just because All-American and Black Lightning had shortened seasons during the 2018-2019 run. So I'm thinking that being a possibility. Also, I'm thinking that Legends of Tomorrow might be slipping into one of those two, maybe um, the 8 p.m. slot because it has previously aired in that time slot before. So that's one re one option there. Tuesdays at 9 is definitely going to be an option just because Arrow is only going to have 10 episodes, so you need to fill it in with something after that. Either I'm thinking it should, I think it should be Legends of Tomorrow just so that it's paired up with The Flash and you still have like a full DC night. But Roswell, New Mexico is also an option because during the 2018-2019 um, run, it was paired up with The Flash in the exact same time slot of 9 p.m. So that's always a possibility to have Tuesday be repeated like it's uh happening right now and now wednesday um wednesdays at 9 p.m i believe could be po a possible um time slot option just because that's where the new series nancy drew um is set now that's only if it is set to be a shortened season with 13 episodes then that's a perfect time slot for katie keen to preview at because then it would be the the riverdale universe you have riverdale at eight so why not have it spin off at nine uh, but then also Nancy Drew has the potential of being a full season order. And if that's the case, then obviously Katie Keene can't go in that night or any other or any other show can go in at that night. But I'm thinking that if it was if Nancy Drew was only thir a short season, then I would assume that Katie Keene would feel it would slip right in afterwards. So that's something there. Now, Thursdays, though, is the last day with um, 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. both being a potential just because it's the exact same setup that happened in the 2018-2019 run. Supernatural ended 8 p.m. at the end of April, while Legacy ended at the end of March with its 16-episode run. So if that was going to happen again next year, we know it is for Supernatural. Not sure about Legacies just yet, if Season 2 is going to be with 16 episodes or not. Then um, those two have the potential being um, time slot orders as well. In the Dark, currently for Season 1, is set at 9 p.m. on Thursday. So if anything, I would assume that it would stay in the same time slot, if possible. But that's always a, an option as well, though. So check the grid. See, well, at least take down my predictions if you want or not. Or let me know in the comments below if you have your own predictions or where you would like to see certain shows paired up. Um, and I guess we can always check later on to see if we're right or not you are right or I'm right or if I could be completely off like there are times where I know I've been off and it's just like whatever but otherwise guys that is pretty much it thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for your patience um I hope you come back to see any of my other videos um that you're interested in um but until then guys this is Mel wish you all a great day great week wherever you are take care bye for now